Reverend Abbot John Baptist always be Father Prior Wageni wetu wa Heshma the five brothers the monks the religious men and women wana familia marafiki and all invited guests tumsifu Yesu Kristu God is good Merry Christmas Happy New Year naomba tuketi Ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kwa niaba ya familia ya Prince of Peace kuwalika nyinyi wote kuwakaribisha hapa kwa sherehe hii yetu tunajua iko ndani ya misa takatifu na ni lazima utaratibu ufuatwe We are within the Eucharistic celebration together with the rite of solemn vows so we need to observe the catholic guidelines when it comes to liturgy na mwanzo ningependa kuwaomba kama uko na simu zima switch off your phones kuna wale ambao wamepewa nafasi ya kuchukua picha kama unajua utapewa nafasi tafadhali keep off Weka simu yako switch it off kumbusha jirani yako tafadhali tukazime simu Kama kuna nafasi naona kuna oblets huyu mmoja wapo mbaya anatuongoza anapokuelekeza jaribu kufuata maagizo yake ili we have order So thank you very much we continue praying for even those who are on the way coming so that they may have a safe arrival we celebrate together Tunajua ya kuwa ni misa lakini ndani ya misa hii kuna ndugu zetu watawa watano ambao wanaenda kuweka nadhiri zao za daima Letu ni kuwaombea tusherekee pamoja tushangilie ili sherehe yetu ipate kufana Happy New Year. Karibuni na ningechukua nafasi hii kumwalika baba Abate Yohane Mbatisaji atuongoze kwa misa hii takatifu. Naomba tusimame. Nilifurahi waliponiambia na twende nyumbani kwa Bwana miguu yetu imesimama ndani ya malango yako e Yerusalemu kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu Bwana awe nanyi Wapendwa katika Kristo Tumefika hapa leo. Kumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya wema wake, kwa ajili ya neema zake katika maisha yetu haswa siku hii ya leo. Tunapo kusanyika hapa kwa ajili ya ndugu zetu hawa watano ambao wanafunga nadhiri zao za milele. Tuunganike pamoja tuwaombe, tumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili yao na pia neema za Mungu ziwashukie ili waweze kutembea ndani ya yale ambayo mwenyewe wameamua kutembea ndani ya Kristu katika utawa huu ndani ya basia hii ya mfalme Kristu wa amani kwa hiyo nyakati nyingine tunakuwa na changamoto hapa na pale tunachepuka kutoka kwa njia ya Bwana Tukumbuke nyakati hizo kabla hatujaanza ibada hii 
Tujute tupate kujiweka tayari kwa adhimisha mafumbo haya matakatifu. Na muungamia Mungu mwenyezi. Kwa mawazo, kwa maneno, kwa matendo na kwa kutatimiza wachi. Nimekosa mimi, nimekosa mimi, nimekosa sana. Ndio maana na muomba Maria mwenye heri, kila daima malaika na watakatifu wote na nyi ndugu zangu. Mungu Mwenyezi atuhurumie, tusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Oh, oh. 
nema ya ubatizo isitawe katika watumishi wako hawa kwa nguvu kubwa ili wafuate nyayo za mwanao kwa karibu zaidi uwajalie wafuate daima ukamilifu wa kiinjili na hivyo ongeze utakatifu wa kanisa na kuimarisha nguvu yake akitume kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anaishi na kutawala nao e, katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Oh, 
na wakati somo linaanza kusomwa hakuna kutembea naomba tuwe watulivu ili tupate kumsikiliza Mwenyezi Mungu Somo la kwanza litasomwa na dada yetu ambaye anaitwa Mary Goreti na Fula Wimbo wa katikati tutaongozwa na kwaya Somo la pili litasomwa na mtawa ndugu Bernard OSB Karibuni sana Somo katika kitabu cha kwanza cha Samueli Siku zile kijana akimtumkia Bwana mbele ya Eli neno la Bwana lilikuwa adimu na mafunuo yalikuwa haba Ikawa siku moja Eli alipokuwa amelala chumbani mwake na macho yake yameanza kupofuka hata asiweze kuona vizuri na taa ya Mungu haijazimika bado na Samueli amelala katika hekalu la Bwana pale lilipokuwapo sanduku la Bwana Bwana akaita Samueli Samueli naye akaitikia mimi hapa naye akamwendea Eli kwa haraka akasema mimi hapa kwa kuwa uliniita Eli akasema siku kuita nenda ukalale akaenda kulala Bwana akaita tena Samueli Samueli naye akamwendea tena Eli na kusema mimi hapa kwa maana uliniita naye akajibu akasema siku kuita mwanangu nenda ukalale wakati ule Samueli alikuwa bado hajamfahamu Bwana na neno la Bwana lilikuwa bado kufunuliwa Bwana akamuita tena Samueli mara ya tatu hapo ala, aliamka na kwenda kuendea Eli akasema mimi hapa kwa maana uliniita ndipo Eli akatambua ya kuwa Bwana ndiye aliyemuita kijana akamwambia Samueli nenda ukalale na utakapoitwa utasema nena Bwana kwa kuwa mtumishi wako anasikia basi akaenda tena kulala mahali pake Bwana akaja akasimama na kuita kama awali Samueli Samueli ndipo Samueli akaitikia nena Bwana kwa mtumishi wako anasikia neno la Bwana Wimbo wa katikati maneno ya kichikio Tanzama e Bwana nimekuja kuyafanya mapenzi yako Tanzama e Bwana nimekuja kuyafanya mapenzi yako Tutaimba Tanzama e Bwana nimekuja kuyafanya mapenzi yako
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Corinthians. For Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Greeks. But to those who are called, Jews and Greeks alike, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Consider your own calling, brothers. 
Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise, and God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong, and God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Amen. Gospel acclamation. Takatifu kama ilivyoende kwa naluka Wakati ule Yesu na wafasi wake walipokuwa safarini mtu mmoja alimwambia Nitakufuata kokote wendako Yesu akamjibu Bweha wana pango na ndege wa hangwangani wana vyota lakini mwana wa mtu hana pa kulaza kichwa chake akamwambia mwingine nifuate naye akajibu unipe kwanza ruhusa niende kumzika babangu lakini akamjibu waacha wafu wazike wafu wao lakini wewe nenda kutangaza ufalme wa Mungu tena mwingine akamwambia bwana nitakufuata lakini kwanza nilipe ruhusa kuwaaga watu wa nyumbani mwangu Yesu akamwambia mtu aliyetia mkono wake kulima kwa plau akitazama nyuma hafai kwa ufalme Injele ya Bwana
naomba tuketi tutafute nafasi kama una ili tupate buketi nzuri asante kipindi hiki ni cha kutambulisha the candidates who are yet to make their solemn vows the introduction of the candidates ningependa kumwalika brother andrew osp the junior master nafasi hii karibu brother samahani junior master wakati atataja jina la ndugu tunangoja tusikie akiitikia wito ndipo tushangilie atushangilie kwa kuitwa jina tu lakini kwa kuitikia wito akisema present that's the time tunashangilia samahani asante Brother Jude Tadeus Bernard Makau OSB Brother Jude Tadeus Bernard Makau Ndolo OSB comes from the Catholic Diocese of Machakos St. Servin's Mitaboni Parish. He is the son of Boniface Chiari and Mama Agnes Modoki, a family of four siblings, three boys and one girl. Brother Jude Tadeus OSB is the fourth born child, that is the last born. And he joined the monastery in the year 2014 and he took his first monastic vows in 2017. <laughs> Brother Bonaventure Albert Odiabo Bots OSB. Brother Bonaventure Albert Bots Odiambo Agutu OSB comes from the Archdiocese of Kisumu, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Dori Parish. He is the son of Manuel Agutu Oluoch and Mama Josephine Agutu, a family of two siblings, all of them boys. Brother Bonaventure OSB is the firstborn and he joined the monastery in the year 2014 and took his first monastic vows in the year 2017. Makofi Kwaki. Brother Adrian Louis Omondi OSB. Brother Adrian Louis Nyamurinda Omoni OSB. He comes from the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma, from Bumala Parish. He is the son of Cyprinus Nyamurinda and Mama Mary Atieno, a family of two siblings, all of them boys. Brother Adrian OSB is the firstborn and he joined the monastery in the year 2014 and he took his first monastic vows in the year 2017. Makov Jameni. Brother Maurus Samuel Wambua, OSB. Brother Maurus Samuel Wambua OSB 
comes from the Catholic Diocese of Machakos, St. Zeno Nibini Parish. He is the son of John Wambua and Mama Elizabeth Nduku, a family of five siblings, four boys and one girl. We pray for the souls of John Wambua and Joshua Wambua. May they rest in peace. Brother Maurus OSB is the fourth born child. He joined the monastery in the year 2014 and he took his, his first monastic vows in the year 2017. Makofi Kwaki. And Brother Michael Joel Wafula, OSB. The last one among the group. Brother Michael Joel Juma Wafula, OSB. He comes from the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma, Christ the King Cathedral Parish. He is the son of Boniface Wafula and Mama Elizabeth Wafula. A family of seven siblings, three boys and four girls. Brother Michael OSB is the sixth born child. He joined the monastery in the year 2014. He took his first monastic vows 2017. Thank you very much, Wameitiki Awito. Now we are sure of the celebration. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, kwa wakati huu, ngependa tutulie, tupate homilia. Baba Abate Karibu. Christo. God is good. Happy New Year. Kwanza kabisa ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kuwakaribishieni hawa ndugu zetu wa ambao anavyosema mtakatifu Benedicto ya kwamba Tuziwape njia rahisi wale ambao wangependa kujiunga nasi. Unawapa siku nne ama tano hivi wakiendelea kubisha. Ndipo warusiwe kuingia. Lakini hawa wabisha kwa siku tisa. Siku tisa. Tumepitisha na siku nne. Sijo? Eh. Petition na siku nne. Siku moja, kila siku moja, siku hivyo na nduwania. Mkine sabu siku moja, mwaka moja. Siku tisa ni yagangabi. Kwa hiyo, asante ni kwa kukubali wito huo, kumtumikia mungu katika utawa huu, na haswa katika bazia hii ya kristo mfalme wa amani. Mara nyingi tunakufanya nadhiri za kwanza au za daima maneno ni yale yale tunayotamka tunabadili tu miaka lakini maneno ni yale yale nadhiri ni zile zile Kwa hiyo yale mnaenda kutamka ni yale yale mtamka mwaka elfu moja elfu mbili na kumina saba miaka sita ilio pita mulitamuka ya kwamba ungependa kuwa watawa wa basia hii na leo pia munatamuka yale yale lakini sasa neno moja tu inabadilika ya kwamba 
ningependa kudumu hapa katika altare hii ningependa kudumu hapa nife hapa sijui kama hiyo una jilani ama unajibariki lakini basi tu maamuzi ni ya kwako tumesikia katika somo la kwanza ya kwamba Samuel aliitwa na Mungu sisi zote tumeitwa na Mungu kufanya nini kumtumikia katika maisha yetu kwa njia mbalimbali ambazo ametujalia sisi kila mmoja wetu na wao walipochagua somo hilo wanaelewa wenyewe walichokitaka kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu anatuita popote pale tulipo ukiwa umelala ukiwa unatembea popote pale lakini jambo kuu ni kusikia hiyo sauti ambayo siku hizi inaweza kuwa ni ngumu kidogo kuisikia kwa sababu sauti ni nyingi ambazo zinatuita sisi sauti ni nyingi unasikia sauti nyingi unaotembea sasa mara nyingine unaweza kushindwa kujua ni sauti ipi iliyo ya Mungu. Lakini tukiangalia au tukiangazia katika somo la kwanza Samueli alikuwa amelala. Akasikia sauti, kasikia kama ni ndoto, lakini aliamka katika ndoto hizo akaenda kwa babaye akamwambia umeniita sasa nipo hapa ni baba yake hakuwa amemuita mara tatu waliambiwa rudi alale wewe umesikia sauti ya Mungu mara ngapi katika maisha yako yenye yenye ni wanaume watano umesikia sauti ya Mungu mara ngapi wakati ulianza kusema ya kwamba mimi nasikia nasikia naitwa na Mungu Unafika mahali unasema ah hii sauti huenda sio Ndipo unaanza kuiumba unaanza kuitafuta hiyo sauti ni sauti ya nani ambayo inaniita Unajaribu kwenda hivi unajipata umerudi Kwa hiyo sote tumeitwa na Mungu nyie mmeitwa katika njia hiyo ya kumtumikia Mungu utawani humo. Je, unapoitwa na Mungu unafanya kazi ya Mungu au unafanya kazi ya nani? Swali kuu ni hilo. Kwa sababu tunaishi katika kizazi ambacho tunafanya mambo mengi mambo mengi yanajitokeza katika maisha yetu tunachepuka mara nyingi kwa njia ambayo tunapaswa kuifuata ni nini kinachotuchepusha katika njia hiyo ya Kristo ndipo tunaona katika somo la injili ya kuna hawa watu walijitolea wenyewe nyie mmejitolea sio au umetolewa walijitolea wenyewe wakamwambia Kristo mimi nitakufuata kokote uenda lakini Kristo kwa tabia zake kawaambia bweha wana nini lakini mwana wa Mungu hana pakulaza kichwa chake unamfuata Kristo uone anapokwenda Lafu unapotelea hapo katikati mambo yanakwenda mrama. Je? Unatafuta hiyo njia au wakaendelea kusema lakini mwingine anasema ngoja kwanza niende nikasalimie watu wangu, ngoja nikawazike nani? Ni mara ngapi hata mimi mwenyewe hapa unapoenda mahali umetumwa unasema ngoja kwanza i must go home fast 
and greet my people before I go because I don't know what will happen there. Hivi wengine wenu mtatumwa sasa hivi. Nasema kwanza ngoja niende nyumbani kwanza. Let me go and perform this ritual of greeting my people and saying kwaheri to them because I don't know what will happen to me when I leave the place I'm going for. Sijui kama kuna mtu hajawahi kufanya hivyo. Unaanza kudai ya kwamba lazima niende nikasalimie watu wangu ndipo niende unaponituma mimi. Lakini hawa wamejitolea. Anasema mimi nitakufuata lakini. But I will follow you but give me permission. First of all So kwa hiyo tunapoishi katika maisha haya ni yeye mwenyewe sasa mnakuwa ndiye wenye na kwamba kuna watu wanawaangalia je maisha yenu yakoje yanaambatana na yale ambayo mnatamka wenyewe au mnajiambatanisha na nyewe wenyewe Huyo Kristo ambaye unadai kwamba alikuita je unafuata mafundisho yake au la Na ndani ya utawa huu wa mtakatifu Benedicto katika basi ya hii je Do you identify yourself with the kind of life you have chosen to live That is the question you need to ask yourself kusikiliza sauti ya Mungu kila siku unapotembea unapofanya kazi unapopote pale ulipo kama mtakatifu benedicto anavyosisitiza alivyotohoa katika kitabu cha Mithali ambayo tunasoma kila wakati wakati wa sherehe ya mtakatifu benedicto Mithali sura ya pili akaiweka kwenye utangulizi wa kanuni akasema sikiliza mwanangu sikiliza listen when you listen to the other person it's not a moment for you to listen to yourself have you ever felt your heart beat when you are seated alone in solitude somewhere Mbago unasikia moyo wako unaanza ni ngumu kwa sababu kelele ni nyingi you can't even hear yourself it's a bit tricky so wakati benedicto alipotanguliza neno kusikiliza hakukosea because when you listen you get to know yourself you get to know the other person better you get to understand yourself and you get a clear path in your life kuna watu wengine if they don't talk they get sick for one minute two minutes three minutes yani kunyamaza ni dhambi wow Silence is like a scene for them. If they don't talk, they get sick. Are you that kind of person? You can be quiet but you are very noisy, you know? Since we come into this life, you are offering yourself today. Here in this church and saying I want to be here for life. Is it true? Benedict says, God forbid tomorrow you give in. To the instructions of the devil. What happens? 
and it is very easy, no? The path of life is narrow and difficult. It has its challenges. Distractions are too many today. You can even be a distraction to yourself. Why? Because what are your priorities? What are your interests? When you say, I want to live here for life, then what are your interests? Are you available for yourself? Are you available for God? Are you available for the community member whom you are living with? That availability is important. To be there for your brother. As one old man says, you should always look at the world from the other person's view, point of view. If you want to get to understand what life is all about. It's not about always me. We are living in a world which says it is me. I, me, and myself. There are three of us. This is what that. Umimi. Mimi na mimi na mimi mwenyeo. As we live in the community sometimes, we discover too many things about each other. And uh, we learn to accept this. Once you say that I want to be here, you accept that you are going to live with the weakest of your brothers. And if you are given an option, Kwamba, if you are to choose the person you are supposed to live with, the brother, would you choose the person you are living with now? Now is a no way. But God has put us here for a purpose to accept to live with each other with all those challenges and weaknesses that we have as human beings. After all, that is God, that's why God put us in this world with limitations. We are all limited. Each person. No one is complete. Each of us has a weakness which is supposed to be complementary. We live to complement each other so that we are able to grow into that kingdom which we preach every other day. When Jesus sent his disciples, told them to go and preach, he did not tell them to go and popularize themselves. Sometimes we go and popularize ourselves. And you discover that you are more popular outside than within your brothers. This is not very healthy. St. Benedict talks about modesty moderation of our life balancing yourself as it is prayer and work and as you know the symbols of St. Benedict on living monastic life those symbols are so simple and few for anybody to have them at his fingerprints. You know them. You forgot. So those symbols help you to go. To go. You have the cross, you have the book, you have the, the plow. which symbolize our life in brief. So as we pray, let us ask that he may strengthen you and guide you 
as you begin this journey as you will say to yourselves and us brothers sisters relatives friends who are gathered here we have come to celebrate our brothers tumekuja kuwafurahia ndugu zetu wakifanya yale ambayo watayafanya baada ya muda mfupi ijayo Je, wewe umeacha kazi zako umefika hapa ili kumfurahia ndugu jamaa rafiki jirani muombe we pray for them that god may guide every step they make in this life You are supposed to be smiling even when things are not so rosy, right? Sindio? Ukienda huko nje ufanya utume unapaswa kuwa na tabasamu hata kama maisha yako ni magumu hapa ndani. Unaenda pale unapanguza machozi, unaenda una smile tu. Alafu wale wanafikiri tu umefurahi kabisa sio? Kumbe umetoka kupanguzia machozi kwenye washroom. Ndi wakati mwingine unashangaa shangaa maisha haya yanakwendaje lakini basi kwa kushangaa kwako ndipo unaweza kupata njia ukianza kushangaa that is the beginning of wisdom inside you as we have had in the second reading look at the wisdom of god look at the wisdom of god to live this life in your brothers You will be given a call and the young ones will be looking at you. Now you are claiming that you will claim that sasa nyinyi ndio wenyeji eh. Ndio wenyeji unaelekeza mwenzako ambaye ni mdogo wako katika maisha haya. Je, unamuelekeza wapi? The most tricky thing in life in this life that I have learned in a very hard way is not easy. It's so we pray for you that God may strengthen and guide you to the steps you are making. That you do everything not for your glory to us idea ukimkuta anatembea mbaya huko mwambie arudi hapa unielewa eh ukimkuta anatembea mbaya huko mkumbushe bana unajua utokao umrudishe mkumbusha arudi hapa na usikilize kwa maakili anachosema hapa hawa si unaanza kusema eh hey, tulijua tu si unasema hivyo tulijua tu huyu hawezi enda mbali hapa na hizi tabia hawezi enda mbali nashukuru wengine wenu mnawasaidia <laughs> Lakini wengine mnajua mtu anaitwa sadist eh ndio wengine anasema tulijua ukisikia mtu akianza kusema tulijua that is the greatest sadist in the world hakuna mwingine mbusha eh ana kama ni kiboko mchape tu arudi hapa so that he remind him what they said It's not bad to be reminded even if you don't like hata mtoto anakumbusha sio mzazi anakumbusha mtoto anamwambia wewe nilikwambia ufuate injia na ukafuata mwenyewe sasa hizo michepuko umeanza kuzifanya hizo 
Tafadhali ziache. Otherwise utakanyaga miba. Na uchungu utausikia mwenyewe. Ndugu zangu. Jukumu letu kuu ni kuwaombea. Pili kuwasaidia kuelekeza katika njia ambayo inafaa. Hawa sio wakamilifu wametoka katika familia zenu sio? Eh. Yeah. Wametoka huko na tabia zao tukakubaliana tunaishi hapo. Mimi nimetoka huko kijijini kwangu na tabia zangu, huyu ametoka huko huko mitaboni huko na tabia zake, mwingine ametoka huko Ndori huko na tabia zake, mwingine ametoka huko Bumala na tabia zake, mwingine ametoka huko Ndithini na tabia zake, mwingine akatoka huko Bungoma na tabia zake. Na wazazi tu ndio wanaweza kujua ya kwamba huyu mtoto ni wa aina hii. Hawakuletwa hapa kwa sababu wazazi wao waliwashinda. Eti fadha chukua huyu kwa sababu amenishinda labda wao utaweza kumuelekeza. Tabia zile amekuja nazo, njizo hizo tunaishi nazo. Sisi tunaishi kulingana na maisha yetu yaliyo hapa, sio eti he will change his character. No. He will not change. He will be him who came from home. Except the direction of our life. That is what we mold. So kwa hiyo, ugefikiri sasa, atu hiyo alikuwa na tabia hii sasa tabadilisha uongo. Iyo tabia nye umelea. Nje hii kwa hapa. Tunaishi na hiyo. Easy. Nisi tano, nisi yona. Kwa hiyo kiona kitu fulani, ujue tu inatoka kwa hiyo. Sio kwetu sisi. Kwa sababu hawajashuka kutoka mbinguni. Wametoka wabi? Hapo. Kwa hiyo malezi ni muhimu kwa watoto wenu kama kuna mwingine anafikiri fikiri kuja hapa mle mtoto huyo awe mtawa mzuri awe mkristo mzuri awe mzazi mzuri maisha yale atachagua wewe unajua ya kwamba hii hapa unaifurahia you are happy about what you brought up So tunapoaombea tunajua tabia zao tuombe hizo tabia kama ni zimechepuka zime chepuka ziweze kurudi Mwenyezi Mungu mwenyewe ndiye anaweza kuwarudisha kwa njia yake So ili yale yote ambayo tunayafanya tunaposaidiana ndio maana mmefika hapa kama mashahidi witnesses you come to witness the love of God the glory of God manifested in our lives as Jesus Christ was manifested and revealed to your humanity so we pray and ask that God's glory may manifest in their lives and whatever they are going to be doing as they live their life in this community, wherever they will be sent, they may be ambassadors to our community, ambassadors to the church, ambassadors to all of, all of us. That when they are there, they know they have come from a particular place and they are happy about it. Otherwise, we may be regretting why they were sent to us. Na mtuma hui hapa. Nye, ndiyo mnakua wa kwanza kuna lambika tii ni kitu gano metutumi hapa. Iti. What is this you have sent to us? We don't want, we don't want your own child. Ni mlea. Mizi kumlea. Halikuja hapa kiwa mtumzima. Na maamuzi halifanya mwenyeo. 
Sasa ukianza kulalamika kwanza jiangalie mwenye nini hapo. Hii ni nini? So God's grace may reign into them and that all they do may be revealed by the Holy Spirit in their lives that in all things God may be glorified. Amen. We take a moment of silence to reflect on the homily that we have received. Yes, Christian. What follows is now the right of profession for solemn vows. Na kwa wakati huu ningependa kualika the five brothers wajongee hapa mbele kwa wimbo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Tabika magoti tukiongozwa Hata sisi wa Kristu tunaomba kupiga makuti. Mahali ambapo upo kwa magoti na ukatulie tukiongozwa kuna wimbo wa Roho Mtakatifu tukiongozwa na kwaya.
Wengine tutaketi sababu ni kipindi cha interrogation tunataka kujiwania yao Dear brothers, Jude, today, Bonaventure, Adrian, Maurus, and Michael, you are going to take your solemn vows. From now, you will forever belong to our monastic community. You have carefully reflected upon this step which you are to take. Together with you, we understand your decision as an answer to God's calling. He is the one who, through his spirit, leads us in different ways to our common goal in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. I then ask you, to prostrate yourselves while the whole community together with you as we have done have called the Holy Spirit. In this regard, therefore, I ask you to declare your intention. Are you ready to seek God in all things? Yes, I am. 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 Are you ready to dedicate your whole life to the service of God and of the church? Yes, I am. 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 Are you ready to lead a life according to the rule of our Father Benedict under the guidance of the gospel? Yes. Yes, I am. 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 Are you ready to say and reserve yes to the Benedictine community of the Prince of Peace Abbey in Chigoni and to work with it at the service of the church wherever you are needed? Yes, I am. 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 Proceed then in your vocation, and may the God of all, God of hope, fill you with faith and joy, that you may be rich in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And you, my brothers of our community, and you all who are here, present today, I take you as witnesses of what the brothers have vowed. May our prayers always accompany them. Amen. Thank you, Makofi Kwao. Tumesikia wameitikia wito. Sasa nikipindi cha 
litania naomba msonge juma kidogo wageni waheshimiwa ili mkeka iwekwe Sisi wengine tunaomba kupiwa magoti tukiongozwa na litania Dearly beloved let us pray to God the almighty father through his son our lord Jesus Christ that by the intercession of the blessed virgin Mary and all the saints he will pour out the holy spirit of his love on these servants of his whom he has chosen to be consecrated to his service
kuwabareke na kuwatakaza hawa wate ule Upende kuwabareke na kuwatakaza Sisi wengine tutaketi Brother Andrew, the junior master wakati tunataka kusikia vile waliitikia wito kama wanaweka nadhiri zao za daima au za milele one by one Tadeus O.S.B. 
Makofi kwake. Asante. Anapoelekea altarini ili hicho cheti kitiliwe muhuri na sahihi ya baba wetu abate ili kukifanya kuwa official document And because of solemn vows, it's not the rubber stamp, but the seal, as you can see. Yo sasa ndiyo inai, ashiria ya kuwa, nadhiri za daima. Wenzetu wa Tanzania watasema nadhiri za chuma, makofi kwa aki. Asante. Albert Bortz Odiambo Agudo OSB from Immaculate Heart of Mary in Dori Parish in the Archdiocese of Kisumu vow before God and his saints for my entire life stability fidelity to monastic life and obedience according to the rule of our Holy Father Benedict and the constitutions of the Congregation of St. Utilian in the Abbey of Prince of Peace at Tigoni I have written this document in my own hand, and by this act I certify my vow before the Right Reverend about John Baptist OSA OSB. And the monks of Prince of Peace Abbey at Chigoni. Seventh January twenty twenty three. Brother Bonaventure OSB. My coffee gentlemen. Naskia kwa maneno yake mwenyewe na aliandika yeye mwenyewe anaenda kutia sahihi pia sahihi ya baba abate baadaye kunawekwa siri. Naona kuna watu wengine ambao hawakusikia my guidelines in the beginning. Naomba tukazime simu. Kindly switch off your phone. Thank you for listening to those guidelines. Makofi Jameni. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I, Brother Adrian Louis O. Nyamrinda, from Bumala Parish, in the Diocese of Bungoma, vow before God and His saints for my entire life, stability, fidelity to monastic life, and obedience, according to the rule of our Holy Father, Benedict and the constitutions of the co Congregation of St. Otilio in the Prince of Peace Abbey at Tigoni. I have written this document in my own hand, and by this act I certify my vows before Right Reverend Abbot John Baptist Oese OSB. And the monks of the Abbey of the Prince of Peace at Tigoni. Seventh January twenty twenty three, Brother Adrian OSB. Tunaposkia Ni maneno mazito kweli Nasikia Their entire life Sasa si kitu kwa muda Lakini maisha yao yote 
ndipo za zinaitwa nadhiri za daima nadhiri za milele wameamua kuwa hapa hapa Makofi jameni Asante Thank you, thank you In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen I, Brother Maurus Samuel Wambua, OSB From Bidine Parish The Catholic Diocese of Machakos Vow before God and his saints for my entire life, stability, fidelity to monastic life, and obedience, according to the rule of our Holy Father Benedict and the constitutions of the congregation of St. Ottilian, the Abbey of Prince of Peace at Tigoni. I have written this document in my own hand, and by this act, I certify my vows before the Right Reverend Abbot John Baptist OSA OSB. At the Mans of Prince of Peace Abbey at Tigoni. Seventh January twenty twenty three. Brother Maurus OSB. We, the Benedictines, we have many vows. We don't. We only have three, and they are very clear. Stability, fidelity to monastic way of life, and obedience. Very clear, three of them. Makofi, Mishangilie, thank you, thank you, Asante. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. I, Brother Michael Joel Wafula, from Christ the King, Capital Parish. In the diocese of Ngoma, thou before God and his saints. For my entire life, stability, stability to monastic life, and obedience according to the rule of our Father Benedict, and the constitutions of the congregation of St. Cotillian, in the abbey of Prince of Peace at the Gaon. I have written this document in my own hand. And with this act, I satisfy my vows before Reverend Wright about the Baptist OSA OSB and among the Prince of Peace Abbey at the Gordon. Seventh January twenty. Brother Michael O. S. B. Brother Michael is the last one in that group. We are grateful for the five brothers for responding to the call of God. Thank you. As we continue witnessing, remember, our prime duty is to pray for them so that they may remain here with us the entire life as they have vowed.
Makofi, Makofi. Thank you, brother. Kinachofuata, wanataka kutuonyesha vieti vyao tujue na watanza na baba abate watawa na sisi wote pamoja na wanapotuonyesha tushangilie tupige makofi kwa sababu sio jambo rahisi wamefanya uamuzi asante sala ambayo inaimbwa na hiyo inajulikana kwetu kama sushipe ni sala lakini wanaifanya kwa kuimba ili kumwomba Mwenyezi Mungu apate kuwa pokea Sisi wote tunaomba kusimama
loving Father. Chaste bodies are your temple. You delight in sinless hearts. Our nature was corrupted when the devil deceived our first parents. But you have restored it in Christ. He is your word through whom all things were made. He has made our nature whole again and made it possible for mortal people to reflect the life of angels. Lord, look with favor on these your servants who have consecrated themselves to you. They place in your hands their resolve to live in chastity. You inspire them to take this vow. Now they give you their hearts. You have poured out your grace upon all peoples. You have adopted as heirs of the new covenant sons and daughters from every nation under heaven, countless as the stars. Your children are born not of human nature, nor of man's desire, but of your spirit. Among your many gifts you give to some, the grace of virginity, yet the honor of marriage is in no way lessened. As it was in the beginning, you first, your first blessing still remains upon this holy union. Yet your loving wisdom chooses those who make sacrifice of marriage for the sake of the love of which it is this sign. They renounce the joys of human marriage, but cherish all that it foreshadows. Lord, protect these your servants who seek your help. They desire to be strengthened by your blessing and consecration. Defend them from the cunning and deceit of the enemy. Keep them vigilant on their guard. May nothing tarnish the glory of perfect fidelity or the vocation of purity, which is shared by those who are married. Though the gift of your spirit, Lord, give them modesty with right judgment, kindness with true wisdom, gentleness with the strength of character, freedom with the grace of fidelity. Give them the warmth of love, to love you above all others. Make their lives deserve our praise without seeking to be praised. May they give you glory by holiness of action and purity of heart. May they love you and fear you. May they love you and serve you. Be yourself their glory, their joy, their whole desire. Be their comfort in sorrow, their wisdom in perplexity, their protection in the midst of injustice, their patience in adversity, their riches in poverty, their food in fasting, and their remedy in times of sickness. They have chosen you above all things. May they find all things in possessing you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. So with that prayer, brothers are perpetually professed members. Makofi Kwao. Makofi Tena, Makofi Tena. So now Batiketi, our Wanapewa, Sasa Vitabu Biasala, Kwasababu wa Meomba, Kuishi Hapa, Na Maisha Etu, Ni Sala na Kazi, Sasa Ni Wakati, Wakupewa, Vitabu Biasala. Moja Moja Atajongea Mbele, Katika Mikononi Mwabate, Takabibiwa, Hizo Vitabu. Brother Jude, I will help you to pray together with your brothers, to praise and to worship the Lord, and may you prefer nothing to the work of God. May you become more and more 
a true recognition of faith, hope, and love. May you always be in harmony with your voice, and may you glorify the Lord in all things. Brother Bernaventure, receive this book of prayer. May it help you to pray together with your brothers, to praise and to worship the Lord, and may you prefer nothing to the work of God. May your prayers become more and more a true expression of your faith, hope, and love. May your heart always be in harmony with your voice, and may you glorify the Lord in all things. Receive this book of prayer. May it help you to pray together with your brothers, to praise and to worship the Lord, and may you prefer nothing to the work of God. May your prayers become more and more a true expression of your faith, hope, and love. May your heart always be in harmony with your voice, and may you glorify the Lord in all things. Brother Maurice, receive this book of prayer. Brothers, to pray and to worship the Lord, and may you prefer nothing to God. May your prayers become Brother Michael, receive this book of prayer. May it help you to pray with your brothers, to praise and to worship the Lord, and may you prefer nothing to the work of God. May your prayers become more and more a true expression of your faith, hope, and love. May your heart always be in harmony with your voice, and may you glorify the Lord in all things. Thank you very much. They have received the book of prayer to guide them within their journey. Now I invite the junior master for them to receive a garland of flowers. There is a statement of acceptance from the abbot, and with this, I kindly ask all perpetually professed Benedictine monks to rise, all senior monks to rise. All the Benedictine monks in solemn vows kindly stand up. Dear Brother Jude, Brother Bonaventure, Brother Adrian, Brother Maurus, and Brother Michael, it is with joy that we receive you into our community as brothers among brothers. May love always be the bond that unites us. Amen.
Thank you very much. Now what follows is the Benedictine Keys of Peace. And this is only for the perpetually professed Benedictine monks. So we start with the abbot, then the perpetually professed Benedictine monks, OSBs, please come for the Benedictine Keys of Peace. from the junior master to the sub prior so they are no longer under the junior master but now under the sub prior so Andrew the junior master is officially handing over na sub prior tawaelekeza mahali pa so Andrew go on. do I need to say something? no okay. <laughs> thank you very much brother Makofi wanapoelekezwa mahali pa kukaa ndio wamengara asante sana Thank you very much asante misa inaendelea kama kawaida ni wakati wa ofato wakati wa sadaka Kwaya
Salini ndugu ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubalike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Bwana pokea sadaka mikononi mwako kwa sifa na ukuzi wa jina lake. Na pia kwa maana sisi na kwa sadaka ya mtakatifu. E Bwana, upokee kwa wema dhabihu na nadhiri za watumishi wako na uwaimarishe kwa mapendo yako. Hawa wanaofuata mashauri ya injili kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Tukushukuru wewe daima na popote E Bwana baba uliye mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu Yeye aliye chanua kama wasafi sana katika shina la bikira alitamka heri wenye moyo safi na kwa maisha yake alidhihirisha hadhi ya usafi wa moyo Alitamani daima kuambatana na mapenzi yako akawa mti mpaka kufa kwa ajili yetu sisi akapenda kujitoa mwenyewe kwako dhabihu yenye harufu nzuri kabisa Amewaweka wakfu watu wanaoacha yote hapa duniani kwa ajili yako ili wakutumikie adhama yako akawahakikishia kwamba watapata zina ya mbinguni kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na umati wa malaika na watakatifu tunakuimbia utenzi wa sifa tukisema bila mwisho
E Bwana kweli umtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki. Maana kwa njia ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tendaji wa Roho Mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wala huachi kukusanya watu kwako ili toka mawio ya jua hata macho yake dhabihu safi itolewe kwa jina lako. Basi e Bwana tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu Vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili uvitakase upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili viwe mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetwa moro tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkate na akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mle nyote huo ndio mwili wangu utakao tolewa kwa ajili yenu. Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kukushukuru alikibariki na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya na la milele chakae mwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu hiyo bwana tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao yale tayo wokovu pamoja na ufufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na tunapoutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake Tujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristo. Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwa kuzodaka tumilefu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na utoleo wake kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake huyo bikira na mitume wake wenye heri na mashahidi wake watukufu pamoja na mtakatifu Benedicto na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa mombezi yao mbele zake tunakuomba ye Bwana Huyu aliye kafara na upatanisho wetu alete maana wakovu duniani kote upende kuliimarisha katika imani mapendo na mapendo kanisa lako linalo safiri duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu Filipo abate Yohana mbatizaji pamoja na maaskofu wote wa kilero wote na watu wote unaowafanya kuwa taifa lako. Upende pia kuimarisha katika nia yao takatifu hawa watumishi wako 
ambao leo wamejitoa kwako kwa daima kwa vifungo vitakatifu vya nadhiri uwawezeshe wadhihirishe katika kanisa lako maisha mapya na ya milele yaliyoandaliwa kwa ukombozi wa Kristo Usitimize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii uliyoita hapa mbele yako. E baba ulie mtakatifu kwa huruma yako, wakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani. Wapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote waliaga waliaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza. Nasi tunamtumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu ambaye kwa njia yake umeujalia ulimwengu mema yote Njia yake na pamoja na ena ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu na sasa kwa kulitia gizo la mokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu ulie mbinguni na kuomba utuofoe katika maovu yote tujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishi na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mokozi wetu Yesu Kristo e bwana Yesu Kristo uliyewaambia mitume wako Amani na wachieni amani yangu na wapa. Usizitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako. Upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako. Unaeishi na kutawala daima na milele. Amen. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Kwa furaha ya hao ndugu zetu takiane hiyo amani.
Tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu. Tazama aondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu. Heri yao waliwalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo. kipindi ni cha kupokea komunio ambayo ni mafumbo makuu ya mwili na damu ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na komunio ni kwa ajili wale ambao wameruhusiwa na mama kanisa kupokea sakramenti ya Ekaristi na vile vile pia wawe wako wamejiandaa wanastahili kupokea kama hujaruhusiwa na mama kanisa usidhubutu usije ukasema acha nikajaribu leo samahani usidhubutu asante mapadri watachongea altarini na sisi wengine waumini kutakuwa na sehemu zimetengwa kutakuwa na mapadri ambao watatukumunisha asante kwaya
Tumsifu Yesu Kristo Naomba tusimame kwa sala baada ya kuimba.
E Bwana baada ya kupokea kwa heshima mafumbo ya kimungu tunakuomba kwa unyenyekevu uwashie moto wa roho mtakatifu watumishi wako hawa waliounganika nawe kama sadaka takatifu na kuwajali ya ushirika wa milele na mwanao Anaishi na kutawala daima na milele. Naomba tuketi. Na tunapoketi ningependa kualika wageni waheshimiwa ndugu ambao wameweka nadhiri zao za milele wajongee hapa mbele waweze kutuonyesha kama wana furaha kwa jambo ambalo wamefanya kwa uamuzi ambao wamefanya tukiongozwa na kwaya wimbo wa shukrani na tumai wimbo mtamu mzuri ili tuweze kucheza pamoja na hawa ndugu karibuni perpetually professed monks newly Uwanja ni wenu tunataka kuona mna furaha ama hamna Mudhibitishe kwetu kwa wakati Asante kwaya
Just a few speeches, one, two people who are going to make their speeches. Kwa sababu, nikiangalia pale ukutani, sasa mambo ya nashuka kule tumboni. Na hatuna wakati. Sasa kwa nafasi hii, ningependa kumualika mmoja wao, the prof, newly professed, to come and make their vote of thanks. On behalf of the group, Karibu Brother. Bada ya huyo ndugu kutakuwa na one of the family members. One of the family members is Father Sylvester. Ame madhani ya meambiwa, kutakuwa tayari kwa ajili ya shukrani. Baba Mwishmiwa Sana, Right Reverend Abbott John Baptist, Priori Uwamasia Father Joseph, all the praise present, my fellow conferers, all religious men and women, all invited guests, and all the Christians present. God is good. And all the time to receive your spiritual. Nivele na nivele amina. Dugu sento kutoka jimbo katoliki la mungu. Mpo. Mpo. Mulembe. Mulembe. Dugu sento kutoka jimbo kuu la kisumu. Mpo. Mpo. Nyasaibe. Thank you very much, Brother Jude, the days always be. Thank you for being brief. I would like to invite Reverend Father Sylvester IMC. Yes, Father, you are most welcome.
Right Reverend Father Abbot John Baptist, OSB, all the monks, and to the newly, to the finally professed brothers, Brother Jude, Brother Maurice, Brother Adrian, Brother Bon Bancha, and Brother Michael, all the religious men and women of various congregations here presented. We want to thank God for this step that he has done in the life of our five brothers. I will call them the big five. For the step they have made and for perseverance they have had along the journey. We had, they began 2014 and today they made their final vows. We thank the Lord for that. We also thank the monastery for having taken care of them. When you look at them, they are well taken care of. We thank the monastery in the name of the Right Reverend Father Abbot for having taken care of them. We also thank the family for having given God these five brothers. It's not easy to let go your son to serve the Lord. So we thank you, our parents. To Ashkur Sana Kwa Kutupa Nduguzetu Kwa Mtumikia Mungu Mungu Awabariki and to all the other Christians here present, we ask you to continue praying for them so that as the Reverend Father Abbot had said, they may persevere in this monastery and they may be witnesses to Christ. Otherwise, thank you and may God bless you. Thank you very much. Father Sylvester IMC, on behalf of the family members and relatives, Asante. Shere hi mekua shere akipeke. We have used many languages, and I would like also to recognize our dear Reverend Sister there, who is helping our brothers and sisters with the sign language. Reverend Sister, thank you. And also we had a gentleman who was helping. Thank you very much with that sign language. Everybody feels accommodated. Thank you. At this point, I would like us to invite the prior, the prior, Father Joseph, welcome. Baba Abante wetu, Yohane Mbatizaji, Supriyo wetu, Fana Leo, Mapadri wote, Watawa wote, Na taifa la mungu wa Kristo wa pendu wa mjangu. Kundu kumi mdogu wa janiambia, nitafanya nini hapa. Lakini kwa sababu, najua kwamba angependa ni wakaribishi, Rasmi katika jumuiya yetu katika abasi ya kama watawa wanadiri zadaima ni tafanya hivyo tu ndugu wetu wata pongezi sana na ndugu ni saidi kuwa pigia makofi moja bili tatu nne mukome sasa. Nikomo sasa. Makofi yao, wame nisaidie kwa kugeza nini kwa tu ambayo mumepanya leo hii. Basi, mumekaribishu kuchangia vilivyo katika maamuzi ya jumuia zetu. Vile vile kuchangia kwa mchangu wa talanta zenu akili uwezo wa kiroho na kimwili ili kuimarisha jumuiya na uwepo wetu hapa nchini jukumu hilo leo mumekabiliwa na vile vile ningependa kusema kwamba sasa nyinyi sio rasmi walelewa bali 
sasa mtalea mwito huo wenu sio kwa sababu mko chini ya yote yule bali kwamba nyinyi wenyewe mtatunza na kuukuza mwito huo basi endeleeni kumuomba Mungu na kumtegemea katika sala na kwa vyo vyote vile asante sana yesu Asante Father Brian thank you very much At this point I would also like to recognize the priests the parish priests or those who represented the parish priests from Christ the King Cathedral Bumala parish the Pini Ndori kindly stand up and wave to the crowd the priests who came from from far to represent and celebrate with us thank you very much asante sana tunasema asante we also have religious men and women around religious men and women around kindly stand up we have the priests the brothers and the sisters religious men and women kindly stand up and wave to the crowd we recognize your presence i can see some who don't know that they are religious men and men asante thank you for celebrating with us i want to at this point people have said here that they are ready they have said yes i am so one of them is being sent to the mission right now so i want to invite the abbot before he will make his final speech to do the mission kindly the abbot and the one who is sent to the mission who is being sent to the mission can we move forward is none other than brother jude yes is it yes christo awali ayote ndio amesema hapa ndio mmoja tayari nataka kujaribu ndio yake ama itamfikisha wapi kwa hiyo ndugu yetu juti tunampatia nafasi to exercise his mission therefore we commission him today as you had him alikuwa anazungumza Kiswahili sicho cha hapa sio so kwa hiyo kuna mmoja amemjia ile aende naye jaribu kuongea kiluga fulani akieleweke lakini basi basi we on behalf of the community and at the request of the congregation we commission our brother to our abbey in Peramio, Tanzania where he is going to assist there in the mission so we place him in the hands of God that he may go ahead of him to guide him in his mission to accompany him and to guide him that what he does as he lives in the community now have in Peramio it may be for the glory of God amen and I wish you the benediction mission cross
Makofi Jameni. Thank you very much. Makofi Tena. Asante sana. Asante. Basi, judi anapo elekea kuketi ni wakati wa baba abate tupatia his final speech. Hapa, kwa leo. Karibu baba. Labda wengine wanauliza na wengine. Wengine ni watawa wa kienyeji ya mba. Kwa hiyo, my dear brothers and sisters, first of all, I wish to take this opportunity to thank God for our five brothers who have made their solemn vows today. And we wish them well, that God may guide them. Secondly, to thank the community here in the Abbey for accepting them to be part and person of this community. Asante sana ndukuzangwa ambasia hii ya Tigoni kwa kuwaruhuzo hawa kwa seme ndiyo ili tuweze kuhishi hapa kwa pamoja so that we live. We accept you as you accept us with all our infirmities and strengths. I don't want to start repeating myself because as the MC has said, our mind now has descended into our intestines. So you may not hear what I'm going to say. So I want to wish you well, God's blessings. Asandeni sana mutu. Kila mutu ambaya mefika hapa, ame shukuriwa. Na... Nilipa ambiwa na mkubwa wangu mmoja, kila mta jisikia mefanya nini? Mmeshukuriwa. Kwa hiyo, karibuni na mjisikie ambasiani na wale ambao watasafiri, tunawatakieni safari jema. Mungu hawaongoze katika safari yenu. Fike ili tunile katika kazi ya uhuduma ya mungu. Muliacha kazi zelu, ngafika hapa. We don't take it for granted that you came. Because maisha haya, wengine, labda walifika hapa, I am sure there are people who came here for ordination today, right? Kuna watu walifika hapa kwa ajili ya ordination, they are brothers. So the brothers have been ordained into brotherhood today. that now they are officially members of this community consecrated into this life and you are right when you came for ordination you are right in your own way in your mind you are right and you came particularly for that and you witnessed it right thank you very much for coming to witness this small small mistake that we make in the church and uh, we continue to live with them. Unajua ukikubali uishi na na kosa. Unakubali tu ile kosa, unaishi na sio? Kwa hiyo wao wamekubali ili waishi hivyo hivyo. Na wajiweke mikononi mwake Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa hiyo nawatakieni wote mema. Matashi nema, wale ndugu zetu mba wamefika kutoka ambasi ya zetu mbali mbali wako hapa, naona wako hapa kutoka dunia hiyo ingine, na ito mvimwa wako hapa kutoka hanga, wako hapa kutoka peramio, wako hapa kutoka ndanda
na wengine kutoka Agbang huko hapa na kumili Alafu tuko hapa na mgeni wetu mmoja kutoka nchi za juu maju kutoka maju Brother Paul Richards karibu sana from one of our abbeys in the United States of America St. John Abbey karibu sana na ndugu zetu kutoka jirani kiongozwa na mheshimiwa sana hapa ni wapi Father Edward ambaye anasimamia nyumba yetu ya wanafunzi Asante sana kwa kusaidia kwa kwa malezi ya vijana wetu wengine wapo ndani yake hayo Yeye ndiye anahusika na malezi huko katika nyumba yetu huko Langata So thank you so much and all the people who are here don't feel isolated feel at home feel one of us thank you and god bless you thank you right reverend abot there is one person whom i expected maybe those who are the one who gave vote of thanks i think maybe might have forgotten the one who accompanied them during their retreat we have father isaac the camelite missionary or cd reverend father we recognize your presence thank you for accompanying them until they have said yes najua kuna wengine unaweza accompany na waseme no so makofi kwake tena thank you thank you so we have come to the end of the speeches and we are concluding and after the final blessings this is how we are going to conduct ourselves tutatoka nje exit pole pole tutaongozwa na msalaba kule nje kuna the first thing photo session mapadri wa tawa pamoja na the newly professed shall have photo sessions there i will guide that and immediately after photo session i hope we have it there is cake cutting we shall do the cutting of the cake and not only cutting but we shall test then immediately testing the cake we have lunch and lunch is rightly served there you will see the serving positions however the newly professed those the priests the religious men and women you are invited to dine together in our dining hall within the cloister the door will be wide open there you will see osb monks people dressed like me they will give you guidelines on how to enter the cloister and they will direct you where you will find the food the food is prepared in one pot as usual we follow what saint benedict says one pot one kitchen the only difference is the serving points so we shall have the serving points outside there for the non religious and non priests but the priests and the religious we are invited inside then after that is when after lunch is when we are going to have now the photos with them the dance the gifts then after that you feel free to live at your own pleasure thank you very much for listening to me makofi kwen for being good people for listening to me thank you so with this i would like to invite right reverend abbot for the final blessings kindly let's arise
Bwana awe nanyi Amisha vichwa kwa baraka za Mungu Mungu mbuviaji wa matashi mema Azizitawishe ni azenu na imarishe mioyo yenu Ili mulio ya hidi muyashike kwa imani thabiti Yeye mwenyewe wa jali eninyi Mwifuwa tenjia nyembamba mulio itagua Katika furaha ya kristo Mkichuku wa mizigo ya ndugu kwa uchanga mfu Mapendo ya mungu ya wafanye mwe familia moja Ili okusanyika katika jina la buwana Yeye Yeye kuonyesha shura ya upendo wa Kristo Na nyinyo temli ya udhuri ya matakati fuhaya Awabariki mungu mwenyezi Baba na mwana na roho mtakati Kabla tujaribika ninamwomba Father Brian Msaada wetu katika Bwana e Mungu wewe ndiyo uliyempaji wa kila kitu vya kula babu mmeandaliwa tunaomba ubariki tu bila kupata nguvu vema kwa njia Kristu bwana wetu kwa jina la baba la mwanro mtakatifu Ali 
Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Na hii Capuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana. Na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization. Kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu. Jambo la kwanza. Tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Capuchin TV. Kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri kuna mafundisho kuna misa takatifu kila siku kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane utazame Capuchin TV jambo la pili uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya manake ndio 
TV ya kipekee ya Catholic na mabishop wanaisupport kabisa manake inafanya kazi mzuri kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support wewe wana paybill number watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support mwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill number na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo asatend father kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Tuendelee kufanya kazi. Paybill number 5106678 account name Caps TV. You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember, to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Holy Ghost Schools Makueni is a Catholic boys boarding secondary school owned and managed by Holy Ghost Fathers. The school is located in Makueni County, Mukasab County, along the Nairobi Mombasa Highway next to Sultan Hamud town, about 100 kilometers from Nairobi. We boast of exemplary performance in both internal and national examinations, together with sports, music, and science fair. We have excellent learning, boarding, and sporting facilities. Our results in national examinations have been progressively good. We are a champion in the county. The school is founded on a strong religious foundation, and we ensure high levels of discipline among our learners. Interviews for Form 1 2023 are ongoing. For more details and interview booking, please call 0729-757-824. Holy Ghost Schools Makweni, prepared for life. <music> Become a professional only at Tangaza University College in identifying children's development delays using both standardized and non-standardized tests as well as providing relevant interventions. The course is ideal for practitioners with an undergraduate degree in the field of pediatrics, early childhood development, special needs education, and psychology. For more information, visit our website www.tangaza.ac.ke or www.facebook.com slash Nairobi Youth Studies or call Institute of Youth Studies on 0734-420-935 or write an email to iysmarketing at tangaza.ac.ke Tangaza University College Teaching Minds Touching hearts, transforming lives. We are a center of holistic academic talent development and character formation. We are St. Bernard Mixed Day and Boarding Primary School. Welcome to St. Bernard Primary School, where striving for excellence is our motto. The school started in 2002 and is totally owned by the Holy Spirit Sisters. The school is found in Kiserian Isinia Road. It is two kilometers away from Birika. The school is totally using 
the 844 curriculum and the CBC curriculum. The school is a mixed day and boarding school. I'm happy and excited to be in this school because it's a wonderful school. This school consists of a boarding school and a day school, whereby day scholars from all over the community come to our school. Our classes start from the preschools to class 8. The school provides a quiet, friendly atmosphere for educational success, social and spiritual growth. We have a dining hall whereby we also attend mass because our school, St. Bernard, comes from a Catholic name. So we, at, we usually attend mass in our, in our dining hall on, when, on Thursdays and on Sundays. We build a strong academic foundation for our pupils as we prepare them for high school and tertiary level of education. The school has teachers who are well qualified and also the school performance is good. Elimisha mtoto wako ili aweze kufaulu vizuri. Karibu sana kama masista tunawasaidia watoto wenu kukua kiroho na kimwili daima. Join St. Bernard Primary School Fraternity today and together let us strive for excellence. Our kids, uh, we train them well. We have co curricular activities whereby we, have, uh, we go for games. To parents, bring your pupils. We are ready to welcome them and we are ready to make them happy to in our school. For admission and other inquiries, call us on 07 21 257 467 or 07 07 739-369. You can send an email to St. Bernard Primary School at gmail.com. We also have uh, the computer rooms. We have computers in our school. A very good dining hall. So we welcome each and everybody. Please bring your child to our school and uh, everything will be okay. St. Bernard Primary for holistic, academic, and character formation.